Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another demo review video. Today I'm going to be looking at Cypher versus Sprout in EU RMRA. One for one trade already out from the ramp control. Cypher jiggling down, didn't see anything out towards Gap, but information was there previously. A flash around the corner, Cypher deals with both of those players and instantly that's the entry towards the site that ITB were looking for. And Cypher's going to keep his eyes locked out here towards a headshot, wait for a reposition, wait for someone to try and get into a retaking angle. And Longs is going to get aggressive behind the right-hand side of the smoke and actually find a couple of kills. Cypher now has to just try and play some time. Gush is off the likes of Zyphon and now just backs off out here towards Gap, where him and Thomas can just slow it down completely and play the 2v1. Got to focus on trying to get that bomb down pretty quickly. Bomb plant coming through. Sprout still with the man advantage. Cypher trying to see if he can get himself out towards safety. Now he's playing anti-flash. Looking in towards a wall, waiting for the retake to come. Longs is already detected out here towards a headshot position. And Zyphon drops to the AWP. Cypher's just playing time. Not over-peaking. Not jiggling down. Oh, what a lineup too. Really nicely done. Just when it looked like he was caught into a position where it could have been uncomfortable to get a one-for-one -one trade. He actually deals with both. Zello with the AWP playing deep out towards the sniper's nest. First player stair just gets caught. Oh, what a double. Really nice there from Cypher. That's not easy to reposition the crosshair back out towards the sniper's nest. Sprout were looking for that one-for-one -one trade, and Cypher just says no, not to be. Now finds himself in a 3v2 on a post plant, and they know that the ramp player is coming in from Xiphon. All the information is here. Both players are low, and they're going to try and play the time. Decent crossfire. Cypher can take the first point of contact and Volt can peek off of him. Incendiary goes deeper out towards headshot and Xiphon is just waiting for a mistake, waiting for an overextension. Smoke off to the bomb, so Cypher has to try and reposition. Looking up to see if he gets aggressive. Spam through the smoke and Volt catches him. 5-1 to one for ITB. Flash over. Cypher looking to try and see if he can open up the bomb site. Clear out here all of gap and see nothing at all. Getting very aggressive in front of the elevator smoke. Flash around the corner. How quickly does he get cleared or does he at all? Gets that first pick. Looks to try and get aggressive out there towards Sniper's Nest to make it a double kill. Trying to see if he can get any more. Nice and aggressive. Very confident here from Cypher on the anti-eco. The stairs just trapped out towards CT spawn. Does do a tiny smidge amount of damage and ending up getting a triple. So even though it is just eco frags, there does show a lot of confidence in the playstyle from Cypher. Cypher regrouping. Getting closer to 20 seconds on the clock. Need to try and get some entries. Need to try and find some impact. Very aggressive in through the smoke as it gets caught towards the left-hand side of the generators. Good entries here from the likes of ITB. And even putting pressure down onto Stair. Just got to make sure that bomb goes down. Cypher can get it into 1v1, but he actually taps it. Tries to draw Zello out to the open and catches him. Very good composure there from Cypher because that was a late round play. There was about 20 seconds left to get that XE forward. He gets some very good entries onto the side directly and then even draws the fight. Doesn't commit to the bomb plant. Allows ITB to get up to 7. Cypher sets up the one-way smoke out here to Ram. Ooh, Stair gets aggressive. Out to the right-hand side of the tarps. Now, he's been silent about this. And Zello's holding a slightly wide angle up towards the, the top of Ram, more towards the fence side. How does Cypher deal with Stair, though? Oh, he just spams it. No way! What a great way to get an opening man advantage. Ooh, this is a little bit different. This is a smoke to block off vision out towards the bottom of the Ram sandbag and catch off the AWPer. Okay, that was actually really mental. So, Zello's been playing a lot towards Crane and bottom of the ramp sandbag, and normally Cypher's either just been lurk smoking or under the ramp smoking for the one way. This time around, he actually smokes off the left that denies any vision towards the bottom of the sandbag and puts himself in a position to fight anything aggressive towards the top of the tops, and he catches off Zello for an OP man advantage. That was clinical from Cypher. Oh, now he's going to get aggressive. Oh, gets flashed in. Jeez, man. Just so much empowerment after that first kill. What do you even say about that? Massive. That is just an unreal tap to the head. Aggressive approach out towards B. Seems like they want to run it in. Lux puts down the anti rush, but he's been seen out here towards Banger and just instantly drops. Zyphon's now the next player up to challenge towards default. Flashes excellent. Zyphon could not see a thing. Excellent utility usage to back up this double entry in from Cypher. And now the bomb site's just taken completely. So much pressure, so much pace there from ITB. And Stairs just got no option but to try and save. Smoke and Molly combo. Now he's going to work around his own lurk, Smoke. Stair. 
Playing up towards Gap. Smokes in. Oh, just the slightest of gaps there in the smoke itself. And as soon as he hears the counter smoke coming through, he knows that stairs close towards Gap so many times. So frequently in this first half have we seen Cypher getting open amount of advantages. Couple of players trying to come through from the Guardian position. Cypher just playing out the time, looking out to the left-hand side. Zello gets a couple of kills. Time is ticked quite far. Cypher hears the footsteps and he just gets two kills again. Even tries to pick out back to the B stairs, but it ends up being caught by Vault. 12-3 half, 23 kills in a first half from Cypher. Unbelievable. Cypher coming through on the backstab. Very quickly getting into bottom of ramp control, and this is completely unknown. They've got no idea. Cypher is not going to go up the ramp side. Instead, he's going to go up to the tarps and get out towards Gap. Timing on this is everything. Crucial might have to try and pull a little bit of a distraction. He's going to swing out, deny the bomb from going down. And now you just play time. Siphon has got absolutely nothing that he could work with. And Siphon actually might catch him after the clock. Tries to go into the fight to drop him, but not to be. Very good bomb plant denial there from the likes of Cypher. That was just a masterclass performance coming through from Cypher. And it's incredible to think that he dropped 24 kills and 7 deaths in just the first half alone. And even when you think back to what happened on day one at the RMR, the first game for ITB was against Na'Vi, where Cypher was the lowest rated player in the server. He comes into a game where they're 0-1 down, go out in vertigo against the international team of Sprout, and he has a ridiculous performance. He becomes the highest rated player, he turns around things completely, and that skill and that entire form only continues to grow as the event goes further on. He ends up becoming the third highest rated player at the end of the RMR, qualifying the likes of of ITB to the major. So if maybe you want to see what Cypher is going to be like at the major itself, if maybe you want to see what of his teammates are going to be like, let me know. Put it down below. I'll see you next time.